Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to talk about the Celsius meltdown. The crypto lender Celsius recently froze withdrawals and a lot of people are freaking out, wondering what's going on and why it's happening. I'm gonna dive into that, the reasons why it's happening and what you can do to prevent this in the future. Uh, before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to Ledin. Ledin is a great place to borrow against your Bitcoin using it as collateral. It is a competitor to Celsius and uh, I will include a tweet storm in or I'll include my tweet storm link in my in the description here so you can look at the differences and how they manage their assets versus celsius but definitely recommend you check them out if that's what you're looking to do go do all right cool let's go ahead and hop on over into the newsletter so i write this first on thursdays this is part of the health report my newsletter and it goes out to all of my subscribers uh, there should be a little modal here if you're interested in joining you can subscribe there um, okay cool so if you haven't heard about celsius Celsius is one of the biggest lending and borrowing platforms in crypto, and they recently froze withdrawals. So as of uh, June 13th, they're like, hey, we're freezing withdrawals, um, and uh, tough luck, you can't get your money out. So basically, you know, this is a really, really big, uh, shocking event for the community. This is, this is something that a lot of people did not anticipate. Uh, some did, like myself, uh, myself and Corey Klipstein and uh, Peter McCormick, where we saw a lot of shady things going on. Um, and so over the last couple of years, I've put together a yield spreadsheet. So this is what that spreadsheet looks like. It shows where my coins are. It shows services in this space. And if you notice, um, I've got lending, borrowing, and, and history as part of the parameters of how I evaluate some of these. And I, this sheet's been around almost two years now, which is pretty wild. And I kind of consider this an experiment. Um, can I go lend out my coins and not lose them? And can I uh, assess counterparty risk properly? So. As you notice, Celsius is in red. <laughs> uh, Salt's a company that also is in red. It's Salt, Voyager, Nexo, Crypto.com. They add a token for gamification, gamification and incentive yield, but it's kind of a necessary and adds risk. Also, some of these like Celsius, um, Crypto.com take a little bit more risk than usual because of that tendency, because they created this coin, they usually are operating in a little bit more of a legal gray area than some of the other companies that do this. So um, for example, and then I'll dive in here to what some of those weird things were that Celsius was doing. So it's not just the token, it's a couple other things as well. The rumors were that they were acting more like a hedge fund rather than a lending borrowing platform. So what's the difference? So a platform might just find one lender and one borrower, match them and take a small spread versus they're borrowing from, uh, you know, people lend their coins, they take those coins and then place trades with those, like going long or short something. So that was the rumor on the street that they were doing that. The CEO, Alex Mashinsky, Mish claimed various things that were pretty dubious, like he invented VoIP and that was debunked, um, or that he raised over a billion dollars, but that was, I think, a twist of words where he had a company in 2000 that briefly hit a billion dollar valuation, but he did not raise a billion dollars. Um, the former CFO, Yaron Shalem, was arrested for fraud, not based on uh, his involvement at Celsius, but his previous company's involvement. That's a pretty big red flag, though. The former head of institutional lending, Jessica Catter, Catter is a 24-year-old who actually filmed some porn. Look, I mean, I'm a super libertarian. You do whatever you want, you, whatever you want with your body. I don't care whether it be drugs or porn or anything you want. like. However, in this uh, circumstance from a company and lending perspective, this definitely does matter. Um, I'm not judging her based on what she does with her body or her life. I'm judging her based on her competency in a role at a, at a company that is lending billions of dollars out. So just want to make that caveat clear. A lot of people are giving me crap on Twitter because of that. I'm not judging, judging her for her lifestyle. I'm judging her for her professional um, decision-making capabilities. So um, also the rates were way higher than market. So in, that kind of indicated that they were either subsidizing or were engaging in Ponzi-esque mechanics. So more than likely it was more of subsidizing where they were selling some of the sell token and using that to kind of fuel the yield. Um, or they were, you know, maybe uh, all the profit they had, they put back into incentive yield because here's a real interest rate. And then in, with incentive yield, you can make that interest rate higher. But basically that means you're losing money. So it's kind of like how companies grabbed a market share like Uber versus Lyft where they subsidized the rides and the rides were a bunch cheaper. So people kept taking an Uber versus a Lyft. So same sort of idea that works for a certain amount of time, but um, eventually that kind of catches up with you. So what exactly happened? You know, I saw the warning signs, so did a couple others. And I've been writing this for two years in my, my lending report. Well, 
1.7 million depositors can't take their money out. So it's basically like a bank run in a way. And so people all across social media are complaining, hey, I can't access my money. I can't get my money out. This is a pretty dismal situation. I mean, this is people's money stuck. There's even a worse part of this. Like if you gave your coins to Celsius to go lend out to earn a yield, that's one thing. Some people posted crypto as collateral and then borrowed dollars against that. So they have the dollars in their hands, but maybe they posted three times as much collateral. So as the price of crypto is dipping, <laughs> they're getting margin called by Celsius. So Celsius is like, hey, uh, the value of your collateral is getting close to your loan value. You need to post more money. And they're like, wait a second, even if I post more money, I don't even know if I could ever get my money out. And that's what uh, Flying Spoon here on Twitter is highlighting where <laughs> even if he even if they rep he repaid the loan, he wouldn't be able to take his, his coins out. Um, so this is one of the biggest um, centralized gateways to crypto. They do trading, crypto back lending, interest bearing accounts, and it earned its trust by playing risky games with other people's money. But there's a couple examples too of showing like a little bit of bad risk management where they lost $54 million in the Badger Dow hack. Um, with, as Terra USD lost its dollar peg, it showed that they had over half a billion dollars invested in the Anchor Protocol. These are really risky activities and, and definitely shows that they were playing a little fast and loose with the rules. Um, and then the CEO at the time declined to say if the incident led to any money. They also uh, put a bunch of coins on Lido Finance. So basically it's taking staked Ether and it's making that liquid in a way. Staked Ether, Ether's price is deviating from the actual price of Ether though. Um, because for a wide variety of reasons, but essentially they had a lot of that. And so that value, uh, that coming down as well hurt them a bit too. Um, so as the, as the value started declining, it caused more and more people to become scared that, Hey, my funds at Celsius may not be safe. So more and more people withdrew their money. Now, because of how Celsius had lent out the coins or taken the coins that were given to them and then lend them, lended them out or traded with them, they didn't have enough coins to meet redemptions. So like a bank run, you know, a bank has taken the dollars that are deposited at a bank and given them out in loans. If everyone goes to the bank at once, everyone can't get their money. You know, only a small fraction could, whoever gets there first. So that's what happened here. Um, now, a true lending borrowing platform has matching durations. So they think about a moment like this happening and their ability to satisfy all redemption requests. Celsius doesn't seem like they thought through that or they played a little bit more risky with that. So when all these people wanted to redeem their coins or go get their coins that were there, they weren't there, they were lent out. This doesn't necessarily mean that they're totally insolvent. Um, they, ver they, they may very very well have actually all, actually have all the money. It's just all have been lent out. So we'll have to see over the next couple of months what's happened. But this is a, a prime example of <laughs> a bad situation to be in if, you're, if you've lent money to Celsius or you have coins there. Um, like like Nicole Atchison, uh, head of Market Insights at Genesis Trading says, this is the closest thing we've seen to a bank run. And like I said, rumors are swirling that they're insolvent. They hold the single largest debt position on Maker, um, which they're borrowing dollars using um, assets as collateral. And so, you know, the company I think was advertising really high rates that were unsustainable. So I'm not sure exactly what is fraud, what is a mistake, what is simply a duration mismatch. We'll just have to see how it all plays out. But this is a prime reason, um, you know, and, and, and exactly like exactly this, the lending and borrowing business isn't inherently bad. They were just playing a little bit riskier. So what you can do about it. So um, lending and borrowing isn't necessarily bad. I actually do that a little bit myself. Um, I've got a spreadsheet that I showed you earlier where I transparently show where my coins are. I didn't put money on Celsius because of all the shady stuff I saw going on. And I felt like that wasn't a good place to put it. So, you know, I don't, I can't see all the loan books of the other companies I work with, but I've met the teams and I understand how they work and the level of professionalism that they have. So that's how I assess some of my, my risk, but I could certainly be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I lose my coins. Now, what can you do with it? Most of my coins are held in self-custody. Like a vast majority of my coins are held in self-custody. And what does that mean? Self-custody means I have a private key or I have a device like this ledger right here. And when I hold that device and when I have that private key, only I can access my coins. I've got the only key to that vault. And so with Satoshi's white paper, he talks about how, how, how we need to create a new financial system that doesn't rely on third parties or trust. And he's totally right. 
Um, that's essentially what self-custody is. It's trusting yourself to custody your asset where no one else has, has, has access to it. We don't have to trust the financial system. We don't have to trust a bank. We trust ourselves. And so to solve the problem of Celsius, you should self-custody most of your coins. If you want to feel riskier and go lend them out, sure. But make sure you do some due diligence. I mean, Celsius had huge red flags for years that I talked about. And so, you know, if you the ultimate way to hodl your coins is to do it in a cold storage um, and make, you know, it's pretty simple. It's only like 150 bucks. Definitely recommend you check them out. Um, there's other providers out there, too, like Trezor, um, Cold Card, et cetera. It just kind of depends on your level of sophistication or if you want to just have Bitcoin versus other crypto assets. Um, Ultimately, to be your own bank, you have to self-custody. So that's my final message here. If you liked this, if this was informative, informative throw me a like, throw me a subscribe. Helps with the algorithm, helps, helps get this out to more people. Um, and appreciate you watching.